Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, hey Cappy baby, how you doing? It's been a minute. I haven't seen y'all in a week. And I know I said I wasn't gonna record on Tuesday. Listen, my stomach was growling so hard, Capricorn, last night. I was gonna do y'all's reading. I was, I, and then I said, you know what? I have done five readings. I am hungry. I need to get my baby in the bed. So let me just, I had did Saggy. I didn't upload it. I was so sleepy, honey. I didn't even, I was so tired. I didn't even wanna eat my dinner. But I went ahead and ate, got <clears throat> my little one to bed. And uh, I'm uploading Sagittarius right now as we speak, and I'm about to start y'all's reading. So we're going to go into intuitive life coaching oracle for your spiritual. Then we're going to jump in and do what's the tea, a love oracle, the love tarot, and money. So that's how you, that's how we do it over here. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And hey, y'all, anything you need to know is down in that description box. If you're a cross watcher, you need to know when such and such reading is coming out, check that out. If you need a personal reading, check me out. Okay? So I am in good spirits. I am happy. I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> so come on in, Capricorn. Ooh, I almost said Saggy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hope y'all not dealing with no session. Because I almost said it. Okay, Kathy. Let's see what Spirit got for you. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine creator. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of Capricorn. Uh, sun, moon, and Venus rising. What do you have for my Capricorn placements? Let me scoot up here. Now, I haven't had my two cups of coffee. I only have one. I did get up early. And so let's see here. Okay, Spirit, what do you got for Capricorn? What is it that they need to know spiritually? Capricorn, what is it that they need to know spiritually? Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. I love this for you, Kathy. Y'all ready? Okay, first card out y'all have is 21, which breaks down to a three. Some of y'all are old souls, baby. You got an old soul. You've lived many lifetimes. You've gained wisdom beyond your years. Listen, I already know I got an old soul. I even sound like a little old lady. <laughs> Come on, some hey, baby. <laughs> like one of my aunties from down south hey baby come on in here so listen some of y'all cappies are old souls though and you are so wise honey some of y'all have been here before yeah you know especially if spiritual people believe in past lives now religious people they can say oh no nah, that ain't that but listen believe what you want to well most people who watch tarot believe in past lives and 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 spirit is saying Capricorn, some of y'all have been here and you are so wise beyond your years. You have a wisdom that is very in-depth if you are wise beyond your years and you have an old soul. So you have taken all that knowledge from those previous lifetimes and you're bringing that into this lifetime. And so you're, you're very wise. You are. You, you're very, very wise. Okay. Now, the next card out you have is a 59. <clears throat> which talks about positive life changes. Um, positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust the process. Mm-hmm. Well, Capricorn, you got an old soul and you have to trust the process that you have positive life changes on the rise. Now, for those of y'all, this card applies to those of y'all that's doing the work. Positive change comes because you putting in some effort too. It ain't all spirit now. So if you're making positive life changes, you're doing the healing work you need to do, you're cleaning up your addictions, you are sitting with spirit and you're trying to clean your life up, trust the process. 
Because that's how positivity is coming. If you try to raise your vibration, you're trying to get on that love and light. Now, not everybody wants to be on love and light. I get it. Some people want to stay low vibrational. That's, a, that's between you and spirit, honey. But if you are trying to live a better life and you are trying to better yourself, spirit is telling you to trust the process because those changes are right up ahead. You, you, you own the pathway and as long you're going to reap what you sow. So if you're doing the work, then you're going to continue to see positive life changes manifest in your life because that's the law of the universe. You have to reap what you sow. So if you're putting in the effort, you're about to see how those efforts are getting ready to pay off uh, in just a little bit. Because it says they're ahead. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose. And so it also requires you choosing to trust the process. Don't get frustrated. Don't get tired. Don't get mad. Just keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. Because let me see here. 10, 12, 13, 14. 14 breaks down to a 5. So 5 is change. Because so 5 plus 9 is 14. Yeah, so that's, uh yeah. So that's 5. If you, you're changing. Okay? You're changing. Then you got uh 39 which is the magic touch, which is 12, which breaks down to a three. Okay. You are accessing true magic from deep within. Did y'all know? Listen, this reminds me of the magician card. All you have is all you need, baby. All you have is all you need. You already have all the tools you need. You have magic deep within you. Now see, everybody else thinks the magic is just, let me mix up. And they'd be telling you know, little alchemists over there doing candle work and burning stuff. But some of y'all have the magic touch because it's already in you. You are the magic. Let me say that again, Capricorn. You are the magic, baby. And it's already in you. You can access this magic. It's deep down within you. It's probably been there from your ancestors, to be honest with you. People who have walked before you. And God probably sprinkled a little bit of that magic on there too. And it's there. So you're old soul who can access magic that's making positive changes, okay? Listen, <laughs> the next card out, I love it, I love it, I love it. Number 11, which breaks down to a two, which means that there is balance with this. You guys are a natural born leader. Did you know that? You're a natural born leader. You were born to lead others. It's a part of your life path. Did you know that? Did you know that some of y'all are supposed to be spiritual teachers and healers? Did you know that you're supposed to lead others? And you have a choice. Did you know that? It's all a choice, but you got to choose the process. You have to choose to want to step into your, your role of teacher. If you've been told that you're going to one day be a spiritual teacher, you have to align yourself with being that. You have to believe that you were born to do this. And if you believe, baby... And you couple that with spirit, it can't nothing stop you. So listen, if you're not on your life path and you have been told that you're supposed to be a spiritual teacher, motivator, or healer, I suggest that you sit with your spirit team, sit with the most high, and you tap in so that they can show you the magic that is already in you so you can step into this life path and teach others, okay? because you have been called, okay? You have been chosen for this. You have all you need is all you, uh, hey, all you have is all you need. If you got you, you got the mindset, you're making the changes, and then you couple that with spirit, I'm telling you, the sky is the absolute limit. You have infinite potential if you do that, okay? Next card out you have is 55, which breaks down to a 10, which is a number one. So in order for some of you all to be on this spiritual path, you're going to become entrepreneurs. Okay. Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities that are getting ready to unfold. So you're going to step into the role of a spiritual teacher. And some of you guys, in order to be this spiritual teacher or leader or whatever it is that you're going to do, spirit is telling you, you're going to have to be your own boss. Okay, you're going to have exciting business opportunities being an entrepreneur. Now, being an entrepreneur comes with certain responsibilities. One, you got to have self-discipline. That's one of the number one things. You got to have perseverance, determination. You can't give out too soon. You cannot. You got to have a certain level of confidence. And you got to be, you got to show up. You got to be organized. You got to plan. 
Because if you're an entrepreneur, that means you're a one-stop show. Okay? It starts with you. It ends with you. You got to have certain things in place to become an entrepreneur. So you got to trust the process because you already have the magic in you. And like I said, if you couple that with spirit, the changes are going to come. But you got to be able to align all of these things in order for you to step into this entrepreneurial role. Okay? That's y'all's spiritual message. Let's move on to what's the team. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. What's the T going on between Capricorn and their person? What is going on between Capricorn and their person at this time? What's the T between Capricorn and their person? Cloud hungry. This person can say, will say anything, does anything, and will make shit up. They're very dramatic. You have an obsessive lover. This is somebody who is dangerously toxic, unhealthy, possessive, or karmic. This person is also going through some financial difficulties. They might be going bankrupt. They might have things that are past due. They got a lot of bills piling up. And this person right here looks like they've been drinking and trying to forget about some of their problems here. Oh my. Theft. Somebody feels like they have been robbed or lost or had some sort of theft. Now this theft does not have to be an actual theft like somebody stole a possession. Somebody feels like there could have been a physical theft, yes. But sometimes people think that they have been robbed emotionally. So somebody feels like they have been robbed emotionally. There is some bad habits here. Somebody's addicted to drugs, alcohol, uh, they have sex addictions, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, or other toxicities that they need to work on. This person that is clout hungry, that looks like they're fishing for comments. This is somebody who is also, this obsessive lover wants somebody to give them some money. Oh, goodness. Somebody, though, uh, that might be going through financial... <laughs> Difficulties, they're unbothered or they're unbothered by all of this here. Yeah, somebody is really unfazed. They're unfazed about any emotional theft. Somebody is unfazed about the bills uh, or things being due. Somebody is just not phased out. Somebody is moving on from bad habits and toxicities. So one person is in bad habits and toxicities and somebody else is moving on. Somebody is, listen, this clout hungry person is fishing for comments, is trying to dig up dirt, looking for dirt on you or vice versa. The person, that, this obsessive lover that wants you to give them money, they want to have a romantic love affair with you. They want they want a sex fix or they want, or, or, or some sort of secret love lover. This person that is bankrupt, oh goodness, they want to use some sort of scarcity tactic. They're trying to get real strategic. Um, this person has love on the brain. The one who is unfazed, um, that feels this emotional loss. One person feels unfazed. One other person feels like they have a physical or emotional loss. But one person has love on the brain. They're dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, having nostalgic thoughts. Now, the person that, that listen, somebody has no facts. They never have the facts. They make up shit and they're lying. Somebody wants to impersonate, some clout hungry person wants to impersonate the other person. They want to be just like them, act like them, dress like them, look like them, or copy them in some kind of way. Now, the person that wants to get, wants you giving them money, this obsessive lover, this person is involved in third party situations. They have multiple lovers or multiple choices to choose from. If y'all been watching me, you know I'm, I'm over the third parties, honey. I, I'm so sick of hearing about it. I... I, I would burn it. I, I want to burn it. I, I'm so I don't even care about third parties at this point. I after a whole week of talking about it. I, I, sorry, Kathy, but I am over third parties. This person who is bankrupt though, they like to fake flex. They act fancy. They show off. They like to act like they're rich. 
whoever this uh person uh, is, they also like to talk shit about you. Oh Lord. Your name is all over this person's mouth, honey. Child services. Somebody is not paying attention to their kids. Their kids are either being at risk of being taken or uh, or something. There's some sort of child neglect or child abuse. And that's not good. That's not good. They're, this person who wants to impersonate you, they're, they come across as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Spirit is telling you Capricorn to just dust it off and keep moving, especially when it comes to those third parties. Just move on, baby. Somebody is looking for photo proof and trying to gather up evidence that you really are broke. <laughs> Stuff's just be cracking me up. Somebody is watching someone from fake accounts, whether it be social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, doesn't matter. Whatever's out here, they they own it. Somebody is haunted by memories, flashbacks, trauma, or side effects of this relationship. Somebody wants to come in with a dirty offer. Somebody wants to kiss somebody else's ass with this dirty offer. They're going to try to kiss ass. They're going to suck up to you. This person is also a happiness hater. They hate on your happiness. If you've gotten out of some sort of bad money situation, they're hating it. They're looking for whatever they can find on you. This person is also a spiritual hater. They hate on your spiritual gifts. Oh, Lord. This person is also a drama starter. And if they could, they would force things on you. And use force to get what they want. This person might as well listen. As much as they hate you and hate on your uh, on your spiritual gifts, your your light and your power. This person really is a groupie. They come across as a groupie. If they saw you, they would be all kissing, butt kissing. <laughs> they want to come in and make you some sort of offer. I kid you not. Nobody wants to make an offer. But it's the same shit a different day, man. They just want to get you on their hook. They want to hook you in some kind of way. But Spirit says, keep dodging these bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people. You are protected from haters. Oh, my God. Every time, this is like, a, this has been coming out a lot. Somebody has caught a case. There is something going on with somebody's health. There is a sexual infection, sexual disease, or rash or something. Somebody has picked up something sexually. And now they have to reflect on the choices and decisions that they make. They're either reflecting on you, Capricorn, or they're reflecting on the decisions and the choices that they have made. They are also very upset, again, of your light. It irritates their demons if you're out here shining. This person is wasting time, is what Spirit is saying. They're stuck. There's no changes. There have been limited some reason they are you are all up in their head honey they overthink they're stressed they're over analyzing a lot going on right now somebody is traveling or moving away from this they are trying to get the inside scoop they're trying to get a closer look and be all up in your business this person is experiencing bad karma at this time yes and you're moving on from this it says thank you next this person is threatening, they're intimidated or threatened or bothered by, of course, your shine or just you or they want to threaten you. This person is somebody who likes to party. They like to turn up, drink. Remember I did, it did say somebody had bad habits, sexual habits, drinking habits, smoking habits, drug habits. They're into something very toxic, but you're too busy winning Capricorn. You're not worried about none of that. Okay, so that's all I got for you for what's the tea. Let's move into the love portion of your tarot oh man somebody need to go see a doctor somebody gotta go see a doctor if they have sexual infections but with third parties that's to be expected you out here spreading it and ain't wrapping up mm. and this is what they explain why Capricorn is moving on <laughs> I could never. <laughs> I could never. I would never. Mm. 
Mm -mm. <laughs> My little incense is about to go out. Let me get another one. Y'all give me two seconds. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn's love life from the tarot? What, is, what can you tell me about Capricorn's love life? What's going on with Cappies and their love life at this time, Spirit? Five cards, please. Six of Swords upright, the Queen of Cups upright, the Two of Swords upright, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, and the Two of Pentacles reverse. So there's been some sort of stalemate with between you and somebody, a water placement Capricorn. A water placement uh, with this Queen of Cups could be any uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, okay? And this stalemate with this water sign, somebody is deciding to move towards calmer waters. They want to move away from the burning building. They want to uh, go towards peace, okay? So there's been a stalemate with a water sign and somebody's ready to move towards peace. Now, they no longer want to be juggling because they've been experiencing some sort of bad luck with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something here is not going their way and they're tired of juggling in their emotions or finances or both. They're, so, or so, or they're juggling something, a decision or something. So they've been experiencing some not so good things. And so now they want to move away from that. Okay. Uh, let's clarify. Tell me more about this water sign spirit. What can you tell me about the water sign? Child, this water sign did there's a okay you got the magician reverse the three of swords upright with the five of pentacles a third party situation has somebody left out in the cold a goal was not met here with a water sign due to a third party situation and someone being left out in the cold hmm so you there's a third party here with a water sign somebody's left out and yeah, so somebody is not going to, oh, my nose is itching. So now somebody wants to, oh, goodness. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Somebody now, um, an offer is not meeting someone's goal. So due to a third party situation, okay, with this water sign. All right, I'm going to put those cards back. I'm going to reshuffle and we're going to get the next Let's talk about this bad luck. Can y'all clarify the bad luck <clears throat> with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? What's, why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? I call it bad luck, but it may not be bad luck, but we're going to clarify and see. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Something just ain't going your way. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Ooh, child, my nose is itching. Child. Okay, due to someone not letting down their guard, something is over, okay? And they realize that them not letting their guard down is why things are over, okay? You got the death card upright, the nine of wands reversed with the five of cups, but somebody wants to restore the faith, but they know that something is over due to not letting a guard down. Can I get one more card on the Wheel of Fortune, please? Uh-oh. Yeah. 
So they want to restore the faith and come in and make an offer is the Knight of Cups, all right? So somebody wants to come in and bring a love offer in and restore faith after an ending due to them not letting their guard down. But we see that there was a third party here with a water sign. Okay, clarify the two of swords, Spirit. Let's clarify this two of swords about this stalemate. Because there is a, a two people here in the bed with their backs torn to each other. Why is there two of swords here? Let's clarify the two of swords. Okay, somebody had hoped that this was going to be their wish fulfillment and that they were going to move towards the Ten of Cups. These two people that are now at a stalemate, but everything dried up. So this is why they're at a stalemate. There was originally hope, though, that they were going to move to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which is a happy family life, um, legacy wealth. That This was a relationship that really could have had it all, could have had it all happiness and money ten of cups and the ten of pentacles that was the hope anyway but instead you got the empress reversed everything dried up it's just not going to happen and it was probably due to the third party here with a water placement sign okay so now we're going to just reshuffle and i'm gonna get the next five cards for the spread y'all excuse me oh goodness okay spirit can you give me the next five cards please Okay, so even though one person has left and they're trying to go towards calmer waters, like I said, now somebody wants to return with the chariot here in reverse in the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to return and make a love offer. Now, they want to reverse the tower here with a water sign, this Queen of Cups. The stalemate came to, to their probably being the third parties and there was chaos and conflict between the two people that are having this stalemate. Now, Things are not feeling like luck is on your side right now, Capricorn. And I'm thinking the reason why it's feeling this way is not just because there's a third mate and there was chaos and confusion between you and this uh, water sign, but it looks like somebody is not having a new financial start. And therefore, they're not feeling like things are moving in a direction that they would like for it to move in. But they feel like they have all the tools they need, though, in order to turn things around and not be juggling emotionally and financially. And I'm guessing the reason why they feel like they have all the tools they need to not be juggling is because they want to go back and make an offer, right? Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, that, so there was an ending with the world. And so somebody wants to start over. They want a new beginning. They, and, and really reverse the tower. They want to reverse it. Yeah. Capricorn, you showed up in your own reading here with the Queen of Pentacles. So now you have a Queen of Pentacles out here and a Queen of Cups out here. Yeah, this not this person who was not getting this new financial start, they, they felt very defeated by this with the Seven of Wands reverse. So I'm seeing a stalemate <clears throat> in cast and conflict with a Queen of Pentacles. Now, I need to make sure the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups are, are the same person or two different people. Give me just a second. Yes, somebody wants to come in with messages that they they feel like they have everything they need to turn things around. Now, let's see. Spirit, is the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, is this the same person or someone different? 
is the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, the same person. No. Because it's, no. You got the Eight of Swords with the Justice Reverse. Somebody feels like it's not fair and now they feel trapped. Okay. I'm going to get to this in a second on why they feel like something's not fair and they feel trapped. So they're not the same person. Clarify who the Queen of Pentacles is. The Queen of Pentacles is someone you want to attach yourself to. Capricorn, this is somebody or they want to be attached to you. And Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. I mean, the Queen of, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles is upright, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that you had an ending with that now you want to be attached to. So it's a fellow earth sign. This is somebody who looked out. This is someone you have gained enlightenment that you had an ending with this person. You have now gained some sort of enlightenment that this is somebody you want to be attached to this queen of pentacles. So it's a fellow earth sign. You want to be, you had an ending with, with the four swords, but with the hangman reverse, you gain some sort of enlightenment that this is somebody you want to attach yourself to. But now, now let's talk about this. Why do they feel like they are at an injustice and now they are in some sort of mental prison? Yes, because there's no partnership. Okay, well, tell me more. So you feel like things are not fair. You feel like you're in a mental prison. You feel like you just is justice reverse, not King of Wands reverse. You chased the next. Somebody here chased the next best thing and ended up. And now they see that now, after going after what they thought was the next best thing, following their passions, they now feel like that was not the right decision because it's left them in some sort of eight of swords position. Now, so there's been a third party situation with a water sign, and then there's something else going on here with a war or with a fellow earth sign you've gained enlightenment that you want to attach yourself to the fellow earth sign now tell me what's going on because i thought that they wanted to it looked like you reversed the tower though there's been an ending with the with the earth sign but you reversed the tower with the water sign but that was a third party so you went back and you went back to a water sign and reversed the tower, which caused the ending with the earth sign. Now you want to move away from the water sign and now y'all are at odds. This is crazy. Now you also want to go in and make an offer. You want to go back and make an offer. After ending with an earth sign, but now you feel defeated because you want messages with this earth sign. And there's been chaos and conflict. Tell me more about what's going on between Capricorn and the water sign. Tell me more about what's going on with Capricorn and this water sign. Okay, so you thought that going towards the water sign was going to be your personal wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and you were trying to keep it a secret that you had moved on with this water sign with the Eight of Cups. But then it's like you got over here and you realized that it was really a one-sided connection. And you realize that there was no love here with this water sign. And now you want to release yourself with the devil. Yeah, now you want to release yourself from the commitment. Hair fine at the reverse, at the bottom of the deck. And now you realize that you're not happy over here with this water sign. But this did not, you did not learn the truth about all of this until after you had committed some sort of what is this here uh manipulation so there is no love in this commitment with this water sign that you thought was going to be your personal wish fulfillment you kept it a secret you kept a secret 
that you had moved on with this water sign. But now the truth has come out that due to this manipulation, now you thought that this was going to be happiness, but then you get over here to realize that you there's no love here. You ain't, you ain't experiencing no love. You want to free yourself from the commitment that you now made with this third party water sign. And now that the truth has come out that there was manipulations or third parties where you thought you was going to have victory and success in this connection, but you're not. You're so unhappy. Somebody is unhappy because the stuff is just so one-sided and now you want to leave the water sign. Capricorn, sounds like you caught up in a third party. I told y'all I'm tired of hearing about third parties. I know I didn't say it, but it, hey, this is what's out here. This is what I have to report. Okay. So what does Capricorn want to do with this Queen of Pentacles? It did say something about, oh Lord. What's going on with Capricorn and this fellow Earth sign? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. <sighs> this is somebody things were not working with. You did not show this person any affection or love with the Knight of King of Cups reverse and the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Give me one more. So there was no love being shown to the fellow earth sign or queen of pentacles here. So somebody decided to go off and do their own thing with things not working. Now, yeah, somebody needed to separate themselves, gain a new perspective with the hangman. Uh, they felt like they was not getting love here with this earth sign. So they moved away. Okay. So you did not show, somebody did not show someone affection. So they decided to go off and do their own thing and be alone after taking a period to gain some sort of enlightenment. Yeah, they decided to close themselves off due to not getting affection in the first place. So this person, <laughs> oh Lord, give me two more. Yeah, this person now, this, this, uh, a fellow earth sign is now stress free and went and birthed something new and got into that empress energy. So that means that they stepped into their power. They moved on. Well, ain't that it? Okay. Oh goodness. Capricorn looks like you and Virgo are the players of the week <laughs> I don't even know what to say I, I, I don't know I'm, I'm not going to judge it do what you do honey do what you do but y'all y'all are looking like y'all are y'all are the ones playing around with third parties uh, spirit what else is there anything else I need to know devil okay somebody wants to get things back under control after things have gone awry oh lord and listen somebody wants to gain control after things went awry they want a new start with the fool they want a new start they want to birth something new um after not showing love at all okay now they now they want to go back into getting things under control so in order to get things back under control they feel like they need to move into some sort of equal give and take because if they don't move into equal give and take then they can't redo something and then they're going to end up staying unhappy if they don't so now it's like you feel like you need to have equal give and take with somebody. Because if you don't, you're just going to stay unhappy. Yeah, so now you want to restore the faith and move into a place where you've restored faith. You're not stressed. But you feel like the only way you're going to get there is if you actually move into some sort of equal give and take with somebody. 
So now, yeah, because you've been experiencing a lot of injustices. Things are very out of balance. So you want to confidently move into your wish fulfillment. So you're trying to use your intuition in the high priestess. So you want your confidence to be restored. You want to move into that nine of cups energy because right now things are out of balance. But things will be out of balance with third parties. That's a lot to keep up with, honey. Yeah, so now you want to come in and make some sort of offer and have victory and success after some sort of contemplation. You have slowed down communication. You have tried to disconnect yourself from uncontrolled passions with the Knight of Wands reverse. But you know you need to quickly come in towards somebody from your past and make some sort of offer to make something right. Okay, Spirit, which one of these ladies is Capricorn? I mean, I it just... Well, I see which one, but what's going on? So how is this going to end, Spirit? How is this going to end? How is this going to end for Capricorn? Capricorn has decided, though, for sure, that even though that they have manipulated things and they have decided to go off and do their own thing, they do want to be attached to somebody. After saying they didn't want to be in a partnership, okay? <clears throat> yeah, they want to... Somebody that they had an ending with, they've definitely, there's a communication slow. They've gained, in, they're trying to gain perspective on how to bring victory and success after being caught in manipulation. So somebody is trying to get into that queen of wands, use their intuition to figure out what to do. How can they gain strength? How can they, what can they do? They know they have to come in with some sort of truth due to the manipulation. But right now, they're taking time alone to think and contemplate. They're quietly doing this. Like, you know, they want to restart, but they know that it's going to require telling the truth. Yeah, now you want Capricorn, you want love, but you feel like you're in a mental prison or that you're stuck in a situation you don't want to be in. You know right now you're not receiving messages, but you have hope that you can relieve burdens. But right now there's no communication going on, but you quickly do want to change things. Yeah, you want to go back to someone from your past that you may have sabotaged things with that has now got you in this mental prison. So you see that all you want is to move out of the cold with somebody from your past. That's what I got. Yeah. That's what I got. All right, Cappy, that's a lot of cards. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get messages from your person to you and messages to, you, you know, we're going to get the love welcome. Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn? What is it that they need to know from their person? What does Capricorn's person want to say to Capricorn? And because it's third parties, we're gonna get I'll give you two different messages. Let's talk, let's start with the uh water sign. What does the water sign want to say to Capricorn? Because that was the first card out. What does the water sign want to say to the Capricorn? my dreams they dream about you they remember that when love was free and in love they wish that they could stay there forever that's from the water sign this is messages from the water sign they have a wild side with you 
and they want to let loose with you and get wild and have fun. They don't want to leave you at all. They don't want you to leave and they don't, they don't want to leave you and they don't want you to leave them. They feel like it's on. They see you looking good and trying to move on and they don't care who you think you might talk to. They feel like they are better and they will compete for you. This is from your water sign. This person has some sort of father wound. Uh, it, it, it is a big influence on their behavior as an adult. They have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within them externally. This person is not going to be missing you because they're not going to let you go nowhere. So you, they will not be missing you. Okay, so spirit, what is the earth energy want to say to Capricorn? What does the earth sign energy want to say to Capricorn? They're not about to spoil you. That, that's in reverse. They do feel like you are mysterious. They couldn't figure you out. You're always hiding something. They never really knew where they stood with you. You were always trying to be a mystery. You was always hiding something. And they don't really know who you are. They don't feel like you're special. They do not miss you. This earth, the fellow earth sign. Still listening. I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me connect, even though we are apart. Now, what does Capricorn want to say? And Capricorn, you know which one you're saying to which person. I can't do what you want to say to the earth and the water because it's too many cards. What does Capricorn want to say to this person, to their person? I am so sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. And I am so sorry for all the pain that I have caused. You didn't deserve any of it. What else does Capricorn want to say to their person? They don't really, they have not taken the time out to heal just yet. They are addicted to the attention of others. They like to feel wanted and needed and they don't feel whole without it. This is probably why they have their parties because they're just addicted to attention. They ran away from this connection. And if they could, they would pack a bag um, and they would take you somewhere with them and just, they want to just travel the world with you along with you. They want to travel the world with you. They said they feel like you are perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted, how I, I'm not sure how I attracted someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Spirit, what do you have to say about all of this? This person does not want to have any kids. One of these people don't want to have any kids with you, Capricorn. You do not feel like home for one of these people out here. This is just not the right time. For somebody who feels like this is just not the right time. They want to know, is it true? Did, is it true that you were dating someone else? Basically, somebody wants to know, is it true that you was in this third party? Ghosted. Spirit said that this went on due to ghosting. Somebody was showing out. And they wanted to prepare unbothered. And again, this is not somebody's fantasy. Okay, let's move on to money. I was not expecting y'all's reading to be an hour, but here we go. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I hope Aquarius is wonderful, honey, because Aquarius has been having some bomb readings, honey. Because this right here is for the birds. What do you got for Capricorn's money spirit? What's going on with Capricorn and their money? Mm. 
Y'all, excuse me. Give me two seconds. I just want to check and make sure. Oh, okay. So, Sassy did upload. Thank you, Spirit, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to shuffle it. Perfection. Give up being perfect. Perfectionism is causing delays in your finances. Progress is not perfection. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. You are enough and you have what it takes to improve your finances. Charity. Some of you guys need to give more uh, and help others to make a difference. You need to donate. It will help create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Mistakes. A past mistake has left you financially insecure and unsure of what to do. Your current financial situation was your own doing. You need to accept responsibility for it. Learn from your mistakes and let it go and you will get through it. All right, that's it. I'm not even going to go to the bottom of the deck. Y'all got three money cards. That's all I got for you, Capricorn, this morning on I Am The Light. I appreciate you being here. Y'all can check me out during the uh, week. There are collectives daily. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday. If you need to cross watch, that's down in the description box. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll know when I upload. Thank you for being here again. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, bye, baby.